Hey guys, welcome to my channel, and in today's video, we're gonna do part two of our paper doll tutorial, and we're gonna focus on the hair. So as you can see over here, we have a lot of different styles and a lot of different colors. And today I'm gonna show you how to color and style your paper doll hair. So if you're one of the early birds, you already have the front and back piece pre-made, but I'll also teach you how to make the front and back piece if you didn't receive it. And all you're gonna need is a piece of paper. So we're just going to put our paper down and then flip our paper doll facing downwards and we're just going to trace the top part of the head. After you do that, then we're just going to draw a line vertically going down and you can make this as long as you want it. Next, we're going to get our scissors and we're not going to cut directly on the line. We're going to leave some space because we're going to tape this to our paper doll. Again, don't cut exactly on the line. We need a little bit of space because we're going to tape this to our paper doll. So boom, this is the front piece and it's done. And before I continue, I just wanted to put a shirt on my paper doll because I don't like when their chest is out. So yeah. So now I'm just going to measure from the air all the way down to the bottom part of the doll. And I'm just going to cut that length out. I mean, you can make it as long as you want, but you know, I'm not trying to make Rapunzel right now, so it's just gonna stop at the bottom of the base. So then I just cut that in half, and boom, you have two pieces for the back part of the hair. So next, we're gonna be coloring the hair. Now, I like to use water first to stretch out my paint so I don't have to use too much. And if you want to find out what type of paper I use, I'll link it in the description box below. It's a little pricey, but you know, that's what you have to do to get a good quality piece of paper. So I just get my red, yellow, blue, and I just paint it. I was trying to make brown, so I'll just show you real quick how to fix your color if you want to make brown. If it looks a little blue, just add a little bit more red. And if it's looking a little too purple or red, you can just add a little bit of yellow. And then boom, you have brown. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of black to the brown and I'm just gonna paint it vertically going up and down to blend in the black into the brown. And boom, we're done with the front hair piece. We're gonna put that to the side to dry and we're gonna work on the back pieces. And boom, we're done with the hair coloring, so now we're going to let it dry. Once it is fully dry, then you can go on to cutting. It's very important that you don't cut wet paper because it's not going to be fun. So just wait for it to completely dry and then we're just going to cut our lines. I would prefer you to make thin lines, but if you want to make thicker lines, then that's up to you. But the thinner the lines, the more malleable and the more hairstyles you can make. So just keep that in mind. So now that we're done with the front, now we can do the same steps with the back pieces of the hair. So I'm done cutting up the hair and we are ready to put the hair on our paper doll and just see how it's going to end up. Now my paper doll hair is long and at the end of the video I will explain why her hair looks so long. But before we place the hair on, I actually want to show you guys a step that I like to do with all of my paper dolls and that's putting a cardboard back to it. And the reason why I put cardboard is because you can see it's very wiggly. We don't really want that. We want it to be sturdy, like for example, our Wednesday paper doll. And it's because of the help of cardboard, we can make our paper dolls sturdy. 
and if you ordered a paper doll kit you can definitely use the box that I provided and you can cut that out and make your own paper doll backing. To start just put your paper doll on the cardboard, get your pencil and trace out your paper doll shape. Now you can remove your paper doll and as you can see we have a rough shape of your paper doll. Now when it comes to cutting, we're not going to cut the exact shape of your paper doll, we're just going to cut on the inside of the paper doll shape and we're going to get a rough cut out of our paper doll. And the reason for that is because we don't want that exact shape because we don't want the cardboard to show behind the paper doll. As you can see, I'm going to flip it behind and you're going to see that there is a lot of white space. And we want that because we don't want the cardboard to show behind the paper doll. Now this next step is optional. I'm just going to paint the back of the cardboard piece black. And you just have to paint one side black. You don't have to paint both sides of the cardboard black. And this is just to make it look a little more professional. So I'm just going to get my hot glue and we're going to glue it on. Now if you're wondering, hey, can I use tape? Um, I don't think the tape would hold up. Maybe you can use glue or crazy glue. You can ask a parent or guardian if you can use crazy glue or you can use hot glue. But if you do want to use tape, you can let me know how strong or how long the cardboard holds up. But I don't think tape would be, you know, long lasting in my opinion. But yeah, I'm just going to hot glue it and I'm just going to press the hot glue down so it can stay on the paper doll. So next I'm going to test the sturdiness of my paper doll. I'm just going to wiggle it and it does look a little wiggly in my eyes and I notice that at the neck area it does bend a little bit. So to solve this issue of bendiness I'm just going to get some popsicle sticks and we're going to place it vertically on both sides and then after that I'm just going to paint it black so it can blend in with the black cardboard. After you do that, I'm just going to wiggle it again to see the sturdiness level and it's really good. So now we can move on to doing her hair. So let's flip our paper doll around and let's secure the hair to the base. So I'm going to get my tape, you can find it at phonebindbag.com and we're just going to tape it making sure that the hair and the base is taped down together. And we're just going to rub it down. As you can see, I rub it down to make sure that the tape is secure onto the hair and the paper doll base. So in the next clip coming up, you're going to see that little piece of tape is showing that's simple to fix, just cut it off and you're done. We're done and you're gonna see the hair is sturdy. So now we're gonna move on to the back piece of the hair. We're gonna do the same thing. Make sure that the back piece is touching or you know, close to the air. If you wanna bring the back piece down a little, you can definitely do that. But yeah, I'm just repeating the steps, just pressing down the tape, making sure that it's secure on the paper doll base and the cardboard. If you didn't add cardboard, then you don't have to worry about that. Just, you know, tape it to the paper doll base. And boom, we're done making our paper doll hair. And you're probably wondering, oh, from my bag, why is her hair so long? Well, it's because I want one of you guys to cut her hair. So I'm actually going to give this paper doll away. And at the end of the video, I'll tell you how you can win this paper doll. So before I end the video, I just want to show you quickly how you can curl your paper doll hair. Now you're going to notice with this hair, I colored both sides. And if you're going to curl the paper doll hair, you want to make sure that both sides are colored. Because if you curl it, one side is going to be white and one is not. So to curl it, all you have to do is just roll it in your fingers. If you ever rolled up a, a dollar bill or anything like that, you'll know that this process will take a minute. But yes, this is how I curl the hair. And to unravel it, you just, you know, get a little tweezer or you can just use your finger and just pull it out. And boom, just like that. To make it a little curlier, I'm just gonna fix it with my hand. I'm just gonna curl it inwards and boom and that is how i curl my paper dolls hair 
yes that paper doll over there it took me a long time to do so if I do upload curly haired paper dolls they will cost more than straight haired paper dolls and you don't have to curl the paper doll hair with anything crazy like I know sometimes I use curlers in my videos but you don't have to use curlers you can just use your finger and just curl it if you want to straighten it you can just use your finger and straighten it back just like how I did it just now and I'm gonna quickly show you how to curve or bump the ends of your paper doll hair all you have to do is go the opposite way and boom and if you want it to be bumped in a little more all you have to do is get your finger and just curl it inwards and that's the lovely thing about the paper that I use because it's very strong and it makes it malleable to the point where you can put it in any type of shape or form so yeah if you want to make your own paper dolls you can check the link to see what type of paper that I use so we have reached the end of the tutorial and yes we are doing a giveaway I'm gonna be giving away this paper doll to one of you guys and if you want to enter the giveaway all you have to do is like this video share this video and comment under this video with a rainbow emoji if you're gonna comment you have to use a rainbow emoji so I know that you entered into the giveaway and to share the video all you have to do is click this little arrow and if you don't want to share it with anybody all you have to do is click copy link and YouTube will treat it as you sharing the video so again hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial if you did you can leave a like and you can subscribe and I will see you in the next one.